Stop number six on the Castle GTX Cup Series brings us to Texas Motor Speedway in... As we are set for racing here today uh, for 51 laps, this is the running of the Samsung Mobile 500, and and it should be a great, great race here today. We had we had let's see five different winners in the first five races of the season. Can we make it six for six? Well, we'll find out here at the end of 51 laps. So let's get the starting lineup for today's running of this event on the pole at 192 miles an hour. It's Matt Dalio, the number 15 Motorcraft Ford. He'll be alongside another another Ford. That's the number 22 Maxwell House Machine of Sky Commons on the outside. Row two is Benjamin Miles, the number 27 Kodiak Pontiac, and alongside of him will be the number 55 Crown Petroleum Skull Classic Oldsmobile of Texas, of one of the Texans in the field, Chris Dollarton. He's on the outside, hoping to get a big win in his home track here today. Row three has Andrew Perry, the number five Levi Garrett Chevrolet, alongside of him will be the number 10. Tied Ford of J.T. Bryant. He's on the outside. Row number four has Jonathan Zorland, number 71, Life Boy Chevrolet, and the Kodak Chevrolet, car number four of Paul Minnick. He's on the outside. Cole Deaver has the inside of the next row down, number seven, Xerox Antifreeze Ford, and alongside of him will be the number 14, Copenhagen Oldsmobile of Jeremy Jones. He's on the outside. Row six has number six, has a, has a Number 26, Quaker State Buick of Chelsea Bowl. She's on the inside of the sixth row. Beside her will be Cab Shear, the number 57, Heinz Tomato Ketchup Pontiac. Then it's the number six, then it's the number six, Valvoline Ford of John Arndt on the inside of the seventh row. And Joshua Sakuli on the outside, the number, tw number 12, Ray Bestis Buick. Then it's the winner of the last race on the tour at Darlington, South Carolina, Joshua Osborne on the inside of row number eight. The Western Auto Chevrolet, car number 17, and he'll be alongside the number 18 the Interstate Battery Chevrolet of Las Vegas winner, Dawson Wise. Then it's the defending event champion, Dalton Day, the number 20 Crown Petroleum Oldsmobile, who broke that long, 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 long winless drought he had. <laughs> He's on the inside of the ninth row, and beside him will be the number 21 sit go Ford of Quentin Moore. Then it's the number... 52, Alka Seltzer Pontiac inside of the 10th row, Seth Cole. He'll be alongside Zachary Fitzwater, number 29, Hardy Zolzmobile. Here. Then it's Zach Winkle, the number 11, Budweiser Chevrolet inside of row number 11. Alongside of him, uh, Budweiser Ford, rather. He'll be alongside another Ford, the Excited Batteries Ford, car number 99 of Levi McIntyre for Rockin' Wrestling Racing. Then it's the number... 28, Texaco Havilland Ford on the inside of row number uh, 12. It's Johnny Gardner, the number 28, the number 28, Texaco Havilland Ford, and alongside of him will be Daniel Olson, number t number 25, Kodak Chevrolet, Kodiak Chevrolet. Next row down will be the. I'm gonna look at the copter view here on this. No, Seth Cole and Levi Michael. Yeah, Zach Winkle's on the inside of the, of the next row. And he'll be, he's got Daniel Olsen outside. Michael Norman starts alongside Johnny Gardner in the number 28 Texaco Havilland Ford. And the next row down after that will be the number 42 Melly Yellow Pontiac of Kyle Matthews. He'll be alongside Cole Baker, number 75, the Valvoline Pontiac. Baker was the winner at Atlanta. Then it's Amari Stoudemer Jr., the 68 Country Time Oldsmobile and alongside the 30 Pennzoil Pontiac of Ryan George. Next row down after that will be John Gilbert, the leading rookie in the number 33 Skull Bandit Oldsmobile, and Keith Batson, number 88 Quart Quality Care Ford Credit for Thunderbird. Then it's another Texan in the field, Trent Dunham for Sega Motorsports, the number one Skull Bandit Old Skull Classic Oldsmobile, and Joshua Collard, the number 43 STP D Pontiac, the winner here, almost won the last stop on the tour at Darlington. Nick Johnson, the 66 uh, Trop Arctic Pontiac, is the inside of the next row. And beside him, the Daytona 500 champ, Chris Dodd, the number eight Snickers Buick. Gentlemen, start your engine! Fans again, the party engines are set racing here today. There's the rest of the field here. Dylan Young and Zed Weinstein, Jessica Shelton and Dylan Pote, and Jesse Turner um, <coughs> starting last in the field. Shotgun, uh, uh, as it were. 
Ford lead the front two spots here at Texas Motor Speedway. 51 laps of distance here today. <laughs> Excuse me. The field about to get set, the field about the round for turn number four. The stands are full. <coughs> and as they see 41 cars round turn number four, the pace car looks up on the pit road. Matt Delia will lead him down as the green flag waves are underway in the Samsung Mobile 500. This will not be the longest race on the mile and a half track uh, this season. The longest race on a mile and a half will be, of course, the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte at 60 laps around that race track. And I think and I think both the uh, yeah will shorten the distance for the the uh, second Charlotte event this season. Benjamin Miles leads the first lap of this race here, and as we look as we saw three wide action here already happening, there it is right there. Paul Minnick and Joshua Sakuli up on the high side. Whoa, and Minnick! Oh, we got problems already. John Gilbert and Zachary Fitzwater. Zed Weinstein's in the crash. Poteet, Jesse Turner upside down. So is, oh my gosh, look at Chris Dodd, number eight. Up and over goes the number eight Snickers. Big of the Daytona 500 champ. And poor Jesse Turner, if there's any guy with any bad, any more bad luck in this series, let me know. Because, I mean, Jesse Turner, I swear to goodness, he has got horrible luck. Michael Norman's in the crash, number three. And Benjamin Miles led him back to the start finish line to to lead the the second the lead the second lap of this race here. I, oh my gosh. And I think something tells me that the number four car of Paul Minnick bouncing off the wall kinda kinda started the whole deal. We was about to, we was focusing on, on the battle between he and Joshua Sakuli. And there were three wide right there. Minnick gets off the wall. And then there's Fitzwater gets off of Sakuli's car, gets in the John Gilbert in 33. Now watch him shoot right back up the track. Sakuli gets in the Poteet hard. And there's where the there's where Dodd and uh, Turner started doing a little synchronized flipping. And then Chris Dodd up and over repeatedly. And he ends up on his rope while Jesse Turner gets back up on all fours and but was able to make it the pit road. So caution number one happening on lap number two of this race there. We got quite a few onboard views on this one. First one from John Gilbert. Following Kyle Matthews right behind. Dylan Poteet's view. Boy, what a hard season he's had so far. And if there's anybody in this in this whole crash that was touched by an angel on this whole deal, it was the number nine of Jessica Shelton because she almost was tapped by Poti. Let's look at it again from a, a replay. And replay again. There, and, and again, we focus on Gilbert and um, and Fitzwater. And let's look at the copter cam on this one. Sakuli gets off the walls. We see right there. There's where Fitzwater and Gil and Gilbert got into it. Oh my gosh! Several cars actually were um, 
lucky to not be in a crash as they were. And not only Shelton, but they even had a couple others. Collard, mainly, too. Because he and Poteet really got together, and it looked like Collard was going to be in the crash. But for those two, thank goodness they, for them, they weren't. And so, the yellow flag continues to fly here. The first caution coming on on lap number four. Uh, lot number two in this race. Um, Dylan Poteet, um, Jesse Turner, and Chris Dodd all out of the race. I said I said the three I said the black car was Michael Norman, but I was I was actually wrong. Norman is actually still in the race in twenty seventh. So Michael Norman is actually still in the race. John Gilbert damaged up and all in it and the Harry Gant special is on the inside of lap down, so we'll keep an eye on him. to see whether or not he causes any trouble or not on this restart. Anyway, it's Benjamin Mosley in the race. Second is the, is the five of Andrew Perry. And then Jonathan Zorlin, Matt Dalio, Chelsea Bowles in fifth. Sixth is Chris Dalton. Seventh is Sky Commons. Cole Deaver in eighth. Ninth is JT Bryant. And tenth is Joshua Osborne. So as the green flag will fall here on lap number six of this race... Yeah, Pontiac, Chevrolet, Chevrolet, Ford, Buick, Oldsmobile, Ford, 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 and Chevy, the top ten. Let's keep it on at 33 cars, see what ha trouble happens. Osborne about rear ends him. Uh, John Arndt takes evasive action. Now he holds up Dalton Day and Charles Samper and Seth Cole. Kev Shear gets off the wall in the 57. And now Steven and now Gilbert decides he wants to aggravate Kev Shear and the ones behind him. Oh boys, this is not going to end up. This is not going to be pretty right there. Gilbert keeps going up the track and up the track and up the track. Gets off. There, bounces off the wall, gets there. He's now holds up Paul Menick and about gets it, sideswipes the car of Shelton. And now Fitzwater goes by. Now Menick goes by as well. Jonathan, Jonathan Zorlin led the last time by. And there is Zorlin as the leader of the race here. Now we go, now we're back to racing here. Three wide racing for second place there between Sky Commons, Chris Dalton, and now Matt Dalio goes up the track. And Dalton about sideswipes, sideswipes Andrew Perry in the five as they come out of turn number two. A pack of cars right there behind. Now Dalton gets off the wall a little bit. See more wall scrapes in Texas than we have it than we do at Darlington. You think that's enough? You think that's bad enough? Though? Wait till we get to the next stop on the tour at Bristol. <laughs> that always here, here next here that of course Bristol will, of course Bristol will be the um, start of the short track string of races here, which will be the first leg of Bristol, and the second leg will be at North Wilkesboro. And the third leg will be at Martinsville. Then it's on from Martinsville, the shortest and the slowest, to the longest and the fastest at Talladega. Zorland still leads the race here. Osborne goes into second now, so you got 71 versus 71 backwards. 17. Chelsea Bowles in this mix here. Charles, Charles Sanford. Working his way through the field nicely up to the 14th position. Let's see where he's clocked at this time by in car 24. Sanford's had a bad start to the season himself so far. He hopes to vindicate himself here today. He was 12th the last time I... Whoa! He and Dalio got close. And number 15. And now Dollarton. Falls in behind Charles Sanford. On board Chris Dollarton's car.
And the battle for the lay here, Dawson Wise inside of Joshua Osborne for position. Osborne led the lap by a by not by not really a bumper. Jeremy Jones in this mix here in the 14. Cole Deaver with the help of JT Bryant. Chelsea Bowles and the 71 of Jonathan Zorlin. And they have caught Cole Deaver and they caught John Gilbert in the 33 car. Well, let's keep an eye on the 33 here again. Jeremy Jones goes inside. Now John Arndt. Chelsea Bowles goes inside. Charles Sanford goes inside. Seth Cole. Kyle Matthews in 42. Whoa! Zorlin about comes up inside. Swipes so Michael Norman in a three. Now he holds up Dollarton and Levi McIntyre. McIntyre goes inside of Dollarton. Boy, how frustrated Dalton's got to be right now, for sure. And now Gilbert gets off the wall. Dalton wanted to go to the inside, but Dalton Day thought of it first. And somebody on the inside, on the apron of the track. I thought I saw the one of Trent Dunham on the apron. Now Matt Dalio gets off the wall in the 15 car, and now I think we're back to regular racing here. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's the Las Vegas winner, Dawson Wisely, in this race here as the 18 car leads JT Bryant in the 10, Joshua Osborne and Cole Deaver battling it out for third spot. John Arndt shakes out in fifth position. Six is Chelsea Bowles. Seventh is Charles Sanford. Eighth is Seth Cole. Michael Norman goes up to ninth and battling for tenth, taking tenth away is Kyle Matthews in the in the 42, with Andrew Perry in the five right behind him. Kev Shear getting into it in the 57 car. Battle here going on. Benjamin Miles, Sky Commons, Quentin Moore, Dylan Young. Um, Dalton Day up in this mix here. And throw in Levi McIntyre and Zach Winkle in the mix here. Winkle almost won at Las Vegas, if you remember. The three wide finish between he, Dawson Wise, and I forgot who the third car was, actually, but... Nick Johnson, car 66. He's he's quietly worked his way up to the through the uh, rookie standings as he right on board Jessica Shelton's car, running in 23rd position. We'll see where she's at clock at this time. By inside now of Dylan Young in the two. Red cars galore here at Texas Motor Speedway. Johnson, Shelton, Zach Winkle, and the 15 of Matt Dalio. And you got the blue car of Keith Batson in the 88 car running in the... Let's see where he is at this time by. Batson running in the... 22nd spot, pushing Shelton. Meanwhile, JT Bryant takes the lead. Car number 10, he is, he's, he's now leads. Cole Deaver in second position. Third, Jeremy, or third is Zach or Dawson, Dawson Wise in the third position. Fourth is John Arndt and Chelsea Bowles in fifth spot. And meanwhile, Dawson Wise goes inside of Deaver for second. It's going to have John Arndt pushing him in the six. John Arndt wants, uh, won last season at the Charlotte in the Coca-Cola 600. Now, now driving for Roush Fenway Racing this season. Cole Deaver, a relative newcomer in the inner, commun in the inner 2003 community. It's already making his presence felt for sure in that 7 machine. 
There is Chelsea Bowles now getting by Deber for a position. So does Seth Cole in the 52. Joshua Osborne trying to get around him. And now Joshua decides to follow Seth. Osborne, as I said before, the winner of the last stop in the tour at Darlington. Andrew Perry running in 8th position, ninth Jonathan Zorlin, who led a handful of the laps so far, and Jeremy Jones in the A.J. Foyt Copenhagen car runs in the 10th position. Halfway home, 26 in the books and 25 to go. And here, and John Gilbert, they've caught him again, that 33 car. Three laps to go. Perry's right there. He's closed in. Does Andrew Perry have anything for Jonathan Zorlin? Let's see what happens in the third turn. Coming down for two laps to go in this race here. If something happens to those two, Sky Commons and Cole Deaver are battling for third. Perry's, I think Perry's getting ready for the pass here. Let's see what happens here in the backstretch. They know they'll be the white man this time by Andrew Perry trying to pass Jonathan Zorlin. Zorlin trying to hold him off. They come out to turn number four. Commons may be close. I think Commons might make a... I don't know. I don't think he will. I was going to say he might try to be close enough to make the pass. Uh, the draft off Perry. The white flag's way. Perry took a look to the inside. This is the last lap of the race, folks. Does Perry make the move to the inside lane on Jonathan Zorlin? No action yet in the third turn now. Zorlin out in front. Perry to second. Off corner number four they come. Perry shows no action of making a move out of turn number four. And the Samsung Mobile 500 goes to car 71. Jonathan Zorlin wins at Texas. Jonathan Zorlin driving the Dave Marcus Special goes to Victory Lane at Texas Motor Speedway. Andrew Perry, a hard-bought second-place finish. Third to Sky Commons. Fourth place to Cole Deaver. Fifth place to Chelsea Bowles. Sixth to Quentin Moore. Seventh, Dawson Wise. Eighth was Seth Cole. Ninth was Joshua Osborne. And tenth to JT Bryant. Average speed, 163.007. And what a race it was here at, at Texas Motor Speedway. Here, yeah, rest of the finishing order, Jessica Shelton comes on a solid 11th place run. Uh, Matt Dalio, 12th. Nick Johnson, 13th. Benjamin Miles, 14th. 15th was Dalton Day. Daniel Olson, 16th. 17th, Amari Sadler Jr. Keith Batson, 18th. 19th was Zach Winkle. 20th was Michael Norman. John Arndt uh, dropped down to the 21st position. Trent Dunham, 22nd. Jeremy Jones, 23rd, 24th, Cole Becker, 25th, Levi McIntyre, 26th, Kyle Matthews, 27th, Chris Dalton, 28th, Ryan George, 30, uh, 29th was Charles Sanford, 30th was Dylan Young, 31st, Joshua Sakuli, Paul Minnick, 32nd, 33rd, Johnny Gardner, 34th, Kev Shearer, 35th, Joshua Collard, Zachary Fitzwater, and Zed Watson were the last two in the lead lap. John Gilbert was the last to finish in the 38th position. And I'm sure there's a lot of, there's a lot of drivers that are not going to be sending John Gilbert Christmas cards uh, at the season's end. Dylan Pote, Chris Dodd, and Jesse Turner were the cars out of the race because of the crash. So if you like what you see here for more in the CRA races and gaming videos, be sure to subscribe this page to the to the NSRA page here on, by clicking the red button below. 
And if you are subscribed, then, well, we hope you like this race. So, with all that said, congratulations once again to Jonathan Zorlin as he takes home the victory here today at Texas Motor Speedway, his second in the Castle GTX Cup Series career, as we head on to Bristol Motor Speedway for the next stop on the tour for the Food City 500. Until then, it's James Qualls. This has been a production of the NSRA, celebrating five years of offline racing at its best.